All right, can you guys hear me? Yes, you look good. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, Trisha. Hello, panelists. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Ryan. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Friday recognition Zoom. Welcome to our training Zoom. Welcome to what we call a revolution like that movie. So my name is Nader Kazan. We just had another amazing week. Our, our unbelievable CEO is traveling. You don't want to know what that guy is up to. This is my new display. I just made my E3 for the morning. So before I get this shaken up, Lisa and Ryan, you want to say hi to the masses and a quick update on the products real quick, please? All right, ladies first. Go, Lisa. Oh, I love it. All right. Hey, guys. Um, well, I want to hear all the rank recognitions, too, if you're going to do that. But um, I know everybody's still rocking and kicking, but um, no real changes on my end. Do note that um, if you've noticed, I'm sure I know a lot of you have, our essential oils are not live um, internationally besides to Canada and Mexico. And that just has to do with shipping regulations. So that's something we are diligently working on. Um, we have a meeting mid next, next week, and we are really, really trying, or I know we will, but we're just trying to get the whole new system set up so we can get these shipped out internationally. Um, but as always, use our videos, use myself and Ryan as resources for our products. Um, any questions that you get, always throw them back our way. It, you know, a lot of times we can answer them better than you might be able to, and it might help, you know, seal the deal with, uh, you know, what you're trying to sell to your customers. Um, like I had one other thing. Oh, and you know, Ryan and I do that our Monday um, Zoom, which there won't be one this Monday. Ryan is traveling for the holiday. Um, but if you guys get regular questions from customers, or if you have any that you feel like we have not addressed, please just shoot us an email of like what topics you'd be interested in us doing, because we would love to cater to really what you guys are wanting. So um, always open to any suggestions you guys have. And thank you again. You guys are doing amazing. All right, you, Ryan. Oh, cool. Thank you. So guys, I just left the um, warehouse. I was down there for a crew appreciation lunch. And the, it's funny. I, I will tell you, the crew down there is so excited to be part of this movement that they ask to hear about stories. They literally they want to hear, hey, do you, can you tell me, like, what are people saying about our products, our service? What are they saying? And, you know, I tell them everything. I tell them the stuff that's working really well, which is most of everything. And then some of the things that are not working so well. But like the shipping, we bring out essential oils, it gets classified by them as a liquid, possible flammable or flammable. So then they're like, oh, it can only go ground to Canada and Mexico. But right now there is a solution. We should have that ironed out in the next week or so. Um, I'm hoping and I, I'm very optimistic on that. But of course, they're also also asking questions like, well, what's in the pipeline? What can we expect? And I just I sit there over lunch and I'm just talking to these guys. And it's funny, I, I got their attention, I got their ear. They're genuinely interested in what we're saying and what we're doing. And I think that's a great that's great from a cultural perspective. Um, they're very much invested emotionally and obviously physically, uh, you know, in the business, and they want to see everybody do well and succeed. Um, and so that's I got to tell you, that's one of the most motivating things about it's. I'm grateful that we have that locally, that we have our own distribution, our own fulfillment center. It yes. does it does make a big difference. I don't have a ton of experience in in large, you know. Um, distribution like this so i really want to know any different i understand ben and Nauter have done it for years and have had almost always i think outsourced their fulfillment and you know it's it's it offers new challenges when you have your own facility obviously all the things to do with i mean obviously upkeep and and, and labor and some of the things that go into the building and we're, we're constantly chasing something uh whether it's ac breaking down or you know <laughs> the truck's not the truck's not showing up and uh so I, I just wanted to let you guys know that the warehouse uh, team, the people there are very, very proud of everybody here on this call because, it, again, it's that real like um, circle of kind of life thing going on here where they depend on this, us, we depend on them, and it's a, it, it's a nice thing to see. So thank you to everybody. Uh, real quick on the product side, every, every week I feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over again with a few teasers. And each time I do a little teaser, like last week, somebody shot me a couple, two different people. So please don't put black seed in a, in a, in a soft gel or something. They want to use it topically. And so that was, um, that was good input. Thank you for that. So a lot of updates coming, lots of new things coming. The children's line is going to expand. We're going to, we're working on, um, also want to throw this out to you guys. We're also coming out with a really great gut health su supplement. More and more and more literature is showing and supporting not only just probiotics. We all can probably say, oh, we know we've heard about lactobacillus or bifidobacterium or you name the strain. There's a bunch of them now. But there's all this other stuff going on between digestive enzymes and prebiotics and postbiotics. 
Symbiotics. And you actually can accomplish a really powerful supplement in, in one, in a couple of capsules. So it's because you don't need a lot. Now that's not the fiber, the same as fiber. We're probably going to need to do something different with fiber, large amounts of fiber, but focusing on gut health as the second brain, focusing on, on mood, focusing on, you know, all the neurotransmitters, really kind of focusing on that root cause aspect of healthcare, where I feel like everybody, we, we, as a you know world, we're sort of missing the boat. Um, but I, like Lisa said, no Monday Zoom this week. We'll resume back normal schedule the following Monday, at which time I hope we're in the new uh, video, the studio that we have, because it will look better. It will sound better. It would be a little bit more professional. And uh, as much as I like the casual environment, I will say that um, it's it's an improvement. So excited about that. I think that's everything. Unless there's anything specific that comes up, not, or I'll turn it back to you. If you're ready for hey, it. Hey, brother. Thank you so much for that, Lisa. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I want to share with you. Ryan just brought it up. They don't come from this industry, and that blesses my heart. And Ben's are beyond measure because, you know, we're used to, Ben and I have been blessed to launch some of the biggest companies in this industry. And when I see Ryan and Lisa, when, you know, we have a, obviously a, a corporate email going on, splurging on ingredient qualities, that just blows me away. And I know all these years of working with Ben, I've watched Ben doing his best to put great ingredients in products, but the old way of doing network marketing, as we talked about, Companies make the product for $10, and because of the way it used to be, and of course everything is shifting, they had to sell it, as we talked about on my last Zoom, for 90 Traditional network marketing companies make a product for 10 Let's say, let's assume all of these are the same, right? They sell it for 90 to people because they have to pay commissions out of it. Regular companies, regular stores, vitamin stores, so on and so forth, will make the same product that network marketing companies might for 10 and sell it to you for 90 Traditional companies sell it for 100 what, what COVID did, ladies and gentlemen, it brought people, it made people smarter in many ways. They're like, why am I overpaying? I don't even want to pay 90. I understand if I pay $90 for this, a friend of mine might make $5 commission, traditional network marketing that Lisa and Ryan don't come from. But the problem with the old way of doing it is because they had to have that 14, 15 fold, in many cases, companies didn't use the best ingredients. And it blesses my heart when I hear Lisa and Ryan just splurge on ingredients. See, we talk about this all the time, and that's why the world is like, you know what? Yeah, it used to be 100. That's the traditional way of doing business. Again, let's assume these are all best, same ingredients. I believe from the bottom of my heart that Lisa and Ryan are very, I know this for a fact, they pick the best ingredients. They know the name of the farmers. We even joke that in regards to our factor four that I know another company could launch this product and sell it for 120 bucks all day long, this, this alone. We joked about how Dr. Ryan knows the name of every anchovy that went in there. So that blesses me. When he comes and says, Lisa and Ryan talk about, and they kind of proudly say we don't come from the industry, that blesses me beyond measure. So I want to share that with you because we just did a training on this. I posted it on my Facebook. Absolutely exploded because people really want to know, okay, explain to me, live good, why are these ingredients so amazing? Why? I mean, look at the testimonial pages. We didn't set up that testimonial page. Everyday people that fell in love with these products at these prices, at these prices, they're like, you know what? I'm going to brag about this because finally I can get my hands on physician-grade ingredients that Lisa and Ryan used to sell for $400 a person per month. But because of the power of the club buying and how Ben came out of the retirement and turned it into a one of the most powerful and most valuable clubs in the world, that's why we're doing the numbers we're doing. So I want to thank you, Lisa. I want to thank you, Ryan. I want to thank you both for always keeping the main thing, the main thing, and that's helping people to get healthy, stay healthy, do it in an affordable way. Of course, Ryan is walking around over there showing off his physique. I'm not going to walk around because you don't want to see this, but I'm working on it. So again, thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Ryan. Again and again and again. Thank you always for making sure the ingredients that you use are the best. Nothing bless. Well, I love doing this all day long, but I love watching the back and forth in the in the corporate emails. We say, no, I want to buy the better ingredients. Better is that, go for it. Splurge the best ingredients money can buy because guess what? Unlike the old way of doing network marketing, we don't have to make it for 10, sell it for 90. We can actually make it for 13, sell it for 18. We have very low overhead. What did Ryan just tell you? He just came back from our one of our warehouses. We have a couple. We own them. So we don't have to sub it out to, 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 to bless our team, our family, our live good family with lunch. That's what we are. We're a big family. And yeah, you see us being goofy, doing stuff in the kitchen. Sometimes there's echo. Why? 
because we're the real deal. You know, Ben and I come from this industry, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen a lot of amazing things, made a lot of great friendships, but we also know the fluff about it. See, that fluff is what makes the product $90. So I want to thank you, Ryan. I want to thank you, Lisa. Now, as far as the rank recognition goes, every Friday morning, everybody knows my routine. I have a men's Bible study. And on the way back, I look, I haven't received an email from Ben on the uh, name of the people and the, how many people hit bronze, uh, silver, gold, platinum, and of course, diamond. So we're going to leave that information for Ben to announce next week. But he did. There is a couple of things we definitely want to share with you. But first things first, we want to hear from our amazing speakers. One thing I want to share with you, ladies and gentlemen, you got to remember something. This is a revolution of commerce. This is a revolution of commerce. I know we keep talking about disrupting network marketing. Yes, we believe the power of network marketing. We truly believe that referral marketing is a future of commerce. It is. People want to share as people share their faith. You know, people go ahead and tell their people, their friends about their faith. So if they find a good restaurant, they tell their friends about a good restaurant. And you've heard that in other companies. You've been involved with other companies that sold the product that made for 10, for 90, so they can pay commissions on it. And they said, hey, when you go to a restaurant, if you refer a friend, does that restaurant pay you a kickback, a referral fee? No. Well, don't you want to? No, I don't want to. I don't want my send my friend Trisha Costa or Britton and, and Josh to go to a restaurant and they charge them extra so I can get a little kickback and everybody above me get a kickback. That sounds good on paper, but like Ben said in his original video that exploded, I get a haircut for $12. I know I shouldn't spend that kind of money on an ugly face like this. $12. If, if my barber, if I was referred to my barber through someone else and that person was through someone else, the $12 haircut that goes on this thing would have been 80 bucks. See, that's the world that we're changing. We're not just changing network marketing. Think about it. Traditional companies make this for 100. Go online, made it for 10, sold it for 100. There's a video online called brilliantcompensation.net. Go look it up. Dr. Tim Sales, I believe that's his name, made it like 30 years ago, 20 years ago when Ben and I started. Talks about how in the regular world, companies make products for $10, run it through distribution channels, send it to a local, maybe a regional warehouse, and from the regional warehouse to a local mall, to a local mall, they have to hire employees, so on and so forth. Therefore, that product is $100. In 1934, network marketing comes along. Many ladies started it because ladies have an amazing way of stretching the dollar. They say, hey, why don't we make a little bit of extra money? Why don't we make great products? But instead of running it through the channels of, let's say, making it in Florida, sending it to New Mexico, and then sending it to you know, other warehouses and so on and so forth, why don't we just make it for the same 10? Don't sell it for 100. Let's sell it for 10, for 90, and pay some commissions at it. That's how network marketing started. So it's a word of mouth marketing. But this is, what this is what COVID did. This is what we need you all to understand. And that's what the promotion that I'm going to announce today is going to blow you away. What COVID did, what the lockdown did, ladies and gentlemen, people sat home. They're like, wait a minute. Why am I paying 100 for this? At, let's say, whatever, grocery store, vitamin store. Why am I going to pay $90 for, to my friend who's trying to sell it to me when my friend's ABC Network Marketing Company is clearly telling me on their compensation plan page that they're going to pay 80% of this out proudly. Meaning if my friend, my single mother friend that needs this product to get healthy and stay healthy, if she pays $90 for this, the company on their comp plan page, old way of doing network marketing, proudly telling her that, hey, it's okay that you're paying 90 for this. It's okay. We're going to take 80% of that. 80 times 90 is 72. We're going to take $72 out of it. I think that's the right math. I think so. And um, pay it back to people. Meanwhile, you go get another job at Walmart, handing out shopping carts or another job so you can be on auto ship. See, that's what we're changing. So when, 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 when COVID hit, people are like, I definitely don't want to buy this. That's why Amazon exploding. I definitely don't want to pay 90 for a product that the same company is telling me they're going to pay out 80% of it. That's a $220 billion a year direct selling industry. I need to save money. I'm going to go on Amazon. So they go on Amazon, they buy it for 30. And then what comes along? 1.1 million pioneers like y'all come in. Ben Glinsky comes out of retirement. Lisa and Ryan Good can say, how can we take these life-changing products? How can we drop the price without dropping the ingredients? Because we know the farmers, we're joking, we know the name of the anchovies. How can we bring that 
into the masses, but we know masses cannot spend $400 a month per person. That's the revolution of live good. You got Ben Glinsky being retired coming out because of timing. You got Lisa and Ryan wishing all these years how they can get these physician grade ingredients that were sold for hundred, let's say 400 per person to the masses. How else could you do that without the power of affiliate marketing that Ben and I come from? That's live good. Ladies and gentlemen, we're revolutionizing the world of commerce, not just network marketing. And what Ben is doing right now as we speak, he's not here. You're all going to be blown away. The next 180 days is extremely crucial. Keep the main thing, the main thing. And here's the main thing. Our job is to help the masses for the first three years to get healthy, stay healthy, and do it in an affordable way. That's our job because the phase one of the live good revolution was people saying, I'm not paying 100 anymore. I'm definitely not going to pay 90 anymore to a company that's proudly telling me 80% of my 90 is being paid up. I'm going to go to Amazon and buy it for 30, but guess what? Y'all come along. Ben comes out of retirement. Lisa and Ryan create the most advanced nutritional products on earth. We bring it to you. How do we make it for 13, sell it to you for 18? How can we do that? And they can't. They can't. I'll tell you why they can't. We're not bad enough them because the old way of doing it was creating the product like we did. We make it with better ingredients. I know that for a fact, but let's just assume they're all the same. But they had to, first of all, double the cost because they have 500 employees. They brag about it. Company has jets. They brag about it. They give, her, they give away cars and diamonds and all that. They brag about it. Where do you think that comes from? Well, that's why when they first make it, they have to double it. Then the rest goes in the complex. We don't have any of that. We don't have any of that. We have love. We have purity. What we do, we want to bless the masses. And ladies and gentlemen, getting healthy, staying healthy, and saving money is not a fad. It's not a fad. We're only starting with these products. Give us two, three years. We're going to dominate this industry. The first revolution of live good brought us to 1.1 million people was people wanting to save money, saying no more 100, definitely no more 90, so people above get paid. They went to Amazon, and then we came along. Bam. That's the revolution of commerce. I can put ionic water filters in this model. We can put travel in this model. We can put anything in this model that's going to drop it from 100 to 18, 90 to 18. That's our business model. The next 180 days is so crucial. So I'm going to stop. I, I know I go too long. So the recognition, Ben is going to do it all next week. I think he forgot to text it to me. That's okay. We're going to have a kick, amazing one next week. But today I'm going to give you an unbelievable promotion that Ben told me to share with you that's going to help you bless people with our products. Ladies and gentlemen, did you know statistically the people that are duplicating the most and the fastest and have the highest retention are the people that when they bring a brand new person in, do them justice and start them with a value pack? At least with our daily essential pack. At least with that. Because when people get on these products, even though many of them swear to me, hey, Nader, you all know I'm on 300 calls last week. Hey, Nader, I just joined the company. I love the products. I can't believe these things are so inexpensive, not cheap. But whatever you do, don't ask me to recruit. And I said, I never asked you to recruit. There's no recruiting requirement. Five weeks goes by, I get a phone call from the same individual. Hey, Nod. All of a sudden, I'm not. Hey, Nod. Hey, I got five or six of my friends that want to talk to you. Can you jump on our Zoom next week? Wait a minute, Johnny, you told me you don't want to recruit. What happened? Well, bro, you know, first of all, everywhere I look, I see live good. Second of all, this, I was paying 90 for this. Now I'm paying 18. Of course, I'm going to tell my friends. That's live good. That's the revolution. Get your people on these products because these products not only bless their minds, bless their bodies, but it makes them believers and go out there and build your business because the next 180 days is extremely crucial. So sorry, I keep going on and on and on. I'm going to bring Trisha Costa. I see you on the top corner. Been praying for your husband. You blessed me beyond measure. Trisha Costa, take it away. Thank you. Thank you. I, you know, I absolutely adore you. Thanks for, for prayers. You know, everything is, is happy and perfect over here. So thank you. God is good all the time. Amen. So guys, today, let's talk about two things, uh, belief and posture. Belief is everything. Whatever you believe becomes your reality. That's something that I worked with my son from the time that he was little. He would come home and say, well, what if this goes badly tomorrow and I don't pass my math test? And well, 
if that's what you think, then there's nothing I can do for you. Whenever you come back with a better attitude and you say, hey, what do I need to do to get an A tomorrow? Now we can work together. But when you say, this is not going to work, then it's not going to work. No one can help you. I get calls. I got a call this morning. And this guy said to me, hey, Trisha, I really wish I could succeed in Live Good, but where I live is like this and like that, the people here. And I said to him, listen, if that's what you believe, if you believe that where you live and the people you know, and it's not going to work for you, what would you like for me to say? Okay, you already made a decision. So whatever you believe in is your reality. You have the first step is to believe. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in the product. You have to believe in the leadership. You have to believe in the company. You have to believe that you can help other people to get healthy, stay healthy while doing it in an affordable way. If that's not what you believe, it's not going to work for you. So really ask yourself, what do I believe? Do I believe that I can go diamond? And when I say belief, I say, you know it. Like, I believe that I'm going to whatever rank they come up with, eventually royal crown diamond, triple royal crown diamond, whatever it is that comes. Not only I believe, I know with everything I have in me that I'm doing it. I will do whatever it takes. I will talk to more people. I will do more trainings because I've made a decision and I believe I can do it. So if you don't, and the kind of belief I'm talking about is the same belief that I have that my name is Trisha Costa. Like there's no doubt. There's a difference between, yeah, I believe I can do it, but only if maybe, no, I know I'm going all the way to the top. No matter what, nothing, no one is getting my way. Here's something else I want you guys to keep in mind. When you begin the negative talk, the, the, pity party, you know, oh, it's because I was in a bad company before I joined the NFL club, the no friends left, you know, because I joined you guys, I am like the pulse, the poster child for I joined the bad company. I joined, you know how they say, like, the, there's some these shows that are like the largest heist in history, whatever. I was involved in the biggest cash grab in the history of network marketing. I still have the products to prove it. I bought each one of these bottles of weight loss product that helped people to gain on average six pounds. It was $290 for each bottle. It was $3,500 to join and they did not pay fast start commissions on these packs, okay? So don't talk to me about, oh, but I joined a bad company. I did too. Just be transparent and understand that is not your fault that the company made bad decisions. You believed and you joined and it didn't work out. Just be transparent. Say, hey, I know the last time I called you, uh, I got you in a really bad company. I'm sorry, but I'm going to feel even worse if now that I found the best thing I've ever seen in my life and I keep that a secret. It's not bad enough that I got you into a bad company. Now I'm going to keep a secret and I found the best thing I've ever found in my life. So you have to believe that's number one. Number two is posture. When you call somebody and you're begging and you're like, you know, can I please? You know, no, listen, posture is everything and everything that you do in sales. It's all about posture. If I go to an open house and I am not, you know, I'm unsure and I, I don't know, I'm not a good enough realtor. No, I go into an open house. I'm like, you are so blessed that you came into my open house. I am the best agent in the state of Arizona. I'm going to do your transaction like I would my own. I get pretty much every single person that comes into an open house. They want to buy with me because of my posture. So have posture. With your belief comes posture. You know what? I'm doing you a huge favor that I'm sharing this with you. You don't say these words, but that's what you believe and that's what you're coming from. So when I'm calling somebody, I'm like, oh my gosh, have you already have you already taken the free tour with Live Good? If you haven't, just take five minutes. I'm telling you, if you don't, you're going to regret. And if you do, you're going to thank me later. That's where you come from. That's how you reach out to people. That posture will take you all the way to the top. And it's easy to have posture when you have something amazing to sell. So if you are struggling with your own self-belief, your own self-confidence, then be confident that what we have here is amazing. We have a first in everything. Guys, it's the first time in history that 100% of people consuming these amazing products are saving money. In the past, 
they were being price gouged. We're not price gouging people. So if you don't have belief in yourself, believe in this company. Nader, you know, said a lot about the quality of the products. And I want you guys to really focus on sharing these products going along with what Nader was saying. If you have people using these products like myself, I take 12 to 13 products a day because of methylene blue, it's every other day. I'm obsessed with these products. So I will tell you this, I've had Costco for 17 years. I have, I've had Amazon Prime for 15. I care way more about my health and wellness than I do my shipping cost. So if I've had Amazon Prime for 15 years, if they removed this compensation plan tomorrow, I'm still here for life because guess what? I'm saving $104 a month just between super greens and super reds that I used to buy on Amazon <laughs> through Organifi. So I don't even need a paycheck. I already have a paycheck in the earnings. I mean, in the savings, because a dollar saved is a dollar earned. So I'm earning just in savings alone. And if you get people addicted to the products like I am, you have them for life. Your retention will be 100%. So we have got to focus on products because this membership is useless if you're not buying products. Why would I have a Costco membership if I don't shop at Costco? I would cancel immediately. That's a waste of money. But because I go to Costco every week and they have the best filet for the lowest price, I'm a lifer with Costco, just like I'm a lifer here. Last thing, guys, I want to meet you in person. I want to give you a hug. Come to Vegas, livegoodvegas.com. We want to meet you. I know Josh and Britt are going to be there and Tracy's going to be there. We want to hug you. We want to we want to meet you in person. We want this energy to be in person. So thank you, Nader. I love you guys. Back to you. Thank you so much, Trisha Costa. I love what you said. Belief. Oh my gosh, that was perfect. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that belief right there is that when we invite people to our wedding, because you believe that that person that you're about to marry, you know, I've been to many weddings and usually more people show up than RSVP. Why? Because of the way you invite. You know what Trisha just said? When people go to her open houses, I mean, she's a professional lady. When do people go to open houses, they want to be a part of that. They want to be a part of that. So I, I want to thank all of you. I want to hold on. Let's see what this is doing. Okay, great. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Trisha. That was perfect. Another thing that you said that just blew me away. You're absolutely right. We're watching you watching. We're seeing a lot of people that just been members, been paying the $9.95 every month. And then as they as they starting to try other products, maybe they started with the reds and the amino, and now they're getting into other products. The reach out to the other friends are into other products because we have such a vast line. So ladies and gentlemen, it's all about the products. You got to become the product of the product and look at the caliber of the individuals that are out here training you. I mean, I've been honored to do this for over 30 years. It's hard to get professionals that, 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 that can easily make six or seven figure elsewhere to come and get involved with something that on paper is only a 33 cents a day deal. But like Ben said last night, Live Good is the most valuable club membership in the world. In the world, we talk about a billion dollar company. You know, Tim Miller called me last week. We talked often. We're going to be a trillion dollar company because network marketing is only a $220 billion portion of the world of commerce. This is the reality of future. People don't want to pay 90. People don't want to pay 100. That's why we have Costco, Amazon, and people still, people are even leaving those models. We are the future. We'll bring you everything very close to cost through this amazing model. So I want to thank you again, Trisha. Ladies and gentlemen, there are 7 million network marketers in the United States of America. There are 68 million people in a home-based business worldwide. We have a group of amazing trainers over here, all blessed with certain gifts that the Lord has given them. I want to bring a gentleman that, Terry Russell. He's um, my beloved brother. Um, you know, we have a lot in common. Uh, but one of the things I actually love the way he trains is that he focuses, or he, as far as I know, to go open the eyes of networkers who've been doing this, who've been doing this, which is still less than this. But this is over. This is why traditional network marketing companies publicly traded, like Ben mentioned last night, are down 20%. And why Amazon has 200 million prime members. Costco has 110 million members. This is the future of commerce. We can put anything in LiveGood. 
We're only starting with the most advanced nutritional products on earth made by the best ingredients because the world needs to get healthy. And guess what? Wave two of live good. Wave one was saving money. Wave two is people realizing and recognizing that the sick care model is over. Watch TV. Every medicine or drug commercial is 10 seconds about the commercial, 30 seconds about the side effects. People are recognizing that. You're building an army of 1 million, 2 million, 3 million people this year, ladies and gentlemen, because you're getting ready to disrupt the world of commerce, not network marketing. What my beloved Curry Russell, one of our amazing diamonds focuses on, that's his cup of tea, is he wants to share the truth about the revolution in commerce and network marketing with other network marketers. And as I said, there's 7 million network marketers active in the United States. That means they're paying about $90 for something that we're selling a better one for 18. And there's 67 million of them worldwide. Kerry Russell has chosen to open their eyes. So with that, my brother, Kerry Russell, please take it. Thank you, Nader. And I'm sorry that I've been away for about three weeks. I've been traveling. I've been all over the place. Fridays have been uh, tough for me. As a matter of fact, uh, I think I'm going to roll right into your uh, discussion about network marketers. See, I got involved, <clears throat> excuse me, I got involved in uh, network marketing nine years ago. And since then, we've had the pandemic, we've had multiple things, and I've actually lost my job two times in the last four years. Uh, my career, I woke up today to an emergency call from our company, and they laid off a hundred people. There is no job security anymore. The reason why I reach out to network marketers is because I'm very aware over the last nine years that network marketers have been people, individuals who have had a dream or a vision of wanting something more than just a job. And most of the people who get involved in network marketing haven't found success because they've been forced to sell or invite people to buy overpriced products or products they can't stay on or services they don't stay with or not using or what whatever. The live good model of the membership changed everything for me. Excuse me, my throat's all jacked up. This live good membership sharing this with, with uh, network marketers in particular has just been a way to uh, shift the mindset from taking them from having a difficult path to success to an easier one with a the growth that Live Good has had. The some of y'all paying attention right now. Some of y'all have been here a year. Some of you haven't. We didn't start off with it this easy. Now it was easy because we were ahead of the trend, but. Halfway through last year, they adjusted the comp plan to make it easier to hit diamond and hit ranks. So the company wanted people to be able to even make even more money, made it easier. They've adjusted prices to make prices in, for the products even easier to get to. They just adjusted the um, compensation plan again in January to allow us to get on some products that our people buy, which we've never had in the first year of the company. They, they keep doing things to make our job easier. But the people who got in a year ago, we didn't have all this goofy fun stuff. We didn't have the, the, the way to make it better. And guess what? They've made it easier for you now. And yet some of you, some of you keep whining to me like, oh, I just can't find people. I can't do this. I can't do that. And I'm like, what do you mean you can't? All, all I hear is, is that you haven't discovered the path for you yet. Because when I got started in network marketing for four and a half years, I thought everyone wanted to go on better vacations. I thought everyone did. The reality is very, very few actually want to really travel. They want to go to the same location every single year, go on the same dumb trip to Myrtle Beach or to whatever. And those people didn't actually want real adventure. So I had to learn how to develop my target market. And like Nodder says, uh, I've discovered over the over the course of the last few years 
that I like working with network marketers who were introduced to a concept, but just hadn't found a better way to do it. Or they hadn't found a leader who would give them the guidance they needed to move forward. And so when we got started January 13th of last year, we gave people a simple script, a pull to fish from, and just said, go get them. Go get them. Like, do this one dumb thing consistently over and over and over again. And let me tell you, we're a year later, year and a month later, it hasn't changed. It has not changed. You could take the same dumb script to the same dumb pool of people, and literally, it's like shooting in a barrel. And all you got to do is just do it over and over and over and over and over. You... <laughs> I did an analogy yesterday, uh, two days ago, about throwing darts. I practice aiming for the 20. I literally just every day, I'm just practicing learning how to hit one spot over and over and over and over. And as I'm practicing, I don't know, one out of 100 throws, I, I, you know, I, I hit the 20. I'm just using this as an example. And then as I've practiced more and more, and I, and I throw it more and more, I'm now hitting like seven out of a hundred. And then all of a sudden, as I keep practicing, I'm hitting, you know, 15 out of a hundred. The more you consistently do a thing, regardless of what it is, the better you get. But most of you won't for some reason, for some reason. Why? Why can't you find a consistency in your growth. Why? And that's every leader, including myself, Tricia, Josh, all of us, in the in Tim, our only wish for you is to develop a passion to become passionate about developing you. Because once you figure this out, game's over. So, Nader, thank you all for what you gave to us because today I could have lost my job and I would have totally been fine. And I'm telling you, that is the greatest feeling in the world that if I would have been on the chopping block, nothing would have changed in my life. Not a single thing. I make more money in Live Good than I do in my six-figure job. And I'm so grateful that I have this and I'm blessed with this. And, and, it, and it wouldn't have happened if you guys hadn't given us something that is just so easy to share, so easy to just spread and, and help other people. And so I just love you guys and I appreciate everything you've given me. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, Mr. Curry Russell, man. You made my day. Got me going there a little bit about the job situation. Thank you for reaching out to networkers. Thank you for educating them. Thank you for opening up their eyes. And you know what? Ladies and gentlemen, he's dead on. Thank you again. A lot of them just don't want to change. A lot of them are like, you know what? I have a skill set. I can sell a $40 vitamin bottle to a friend. And I can go to sleep at night that night. And I can brag about how people in my upline in the other companies are making a ton of money that comes from overselling products. Some people can do that. And what Kerry Russell has chosen is just to go and let them know that there is a better way. There is an there is a easier way. There is a kinder way. And again, we're not here to badmouth the old network marketing. I come from that industry. I met them through that industry. Some of my dearest friends come from that industry. But it's just time for a revolution. You know, I talk about this on my Zooms all the time. Horses used to be the main type of transportation, right? And the people that were in a horse and carriage business, in the feed business, in the saddle business, made a lot of money. Those are the people that are now, were selling attraction marketing, leads, Stuff like that, traffic for network marketers, because like Trisha Costa shared in one of her videos, why do you think people in network marketing need attraction marketing? Because a lot of them don't feel comfortable telling their friends that they should pay $90 for a product, that the very same website is going to tell their friend they're going to pay out 70% of that. So that's why this is exploding, but there's a lot of time for a lot of networkers, it's just hard for them to recognize, how can this be so easy? Like I said, the number one question that I get is how can these products be so good? And they're not asking me if they're good because a lot of people are like, you know what? I watched the Zoom. I saw the stories. I see live good everywhere. I'm just going to order these products even at retail. Even at retail, they're saving a ton of money because these at retail are 
Reds at retail is about 30 bucks. Other, I mean, our E3, others selling it for 90. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all about going out there proudly sharing. And what Kerry Russell is doing is sharing it with networkers. And networkers are the people who took that industry to $220 billion. Are they all going to come in? They might come in. They might not come in. But it's our duty to let them know so they know what it's all about before they're joining Live Good through someone else. So thank you for that, Kerry Russell. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to bring up Tracy Walker over here. Now, i got to share this about Tracy. I've been watching this young lady, this mama bear, this lioness for a long time. She doesn't know it. She's one of the most amazing online marketers. She truly loves people. The way she shares, is just it just resonates with you. I mean, people of her caliber, including herself and all, all of our other panelists, they can go to any other traditional network marketing companies that sold the product I made for 10, for 90 and, and just kill it. But people like them to come over here and, 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 just, and just do this with us blesses my heart. I know this young lady can go anywhere and write her own check. But seeing an individual of y'all's caliber coming over here, hanging your hat with us, knowing that we're the future of commerce, that blesses my heart. With that, Ms. Tracy Walker, all yours. Thank you so much, Nader. And let me just um, say to that, I really appreciate that because, um, you know, I've been around the block a time or two in network marketing, right? The last um, 17 years, full time, actually. And one of the things that I absolutely enjoy about Live Good is the culture, right? I, I enjoy the culture. I respect our corporate team. Right. And I, I respect their leadership and um, I, I honor the way that the, I honor the thought process that went behind putting the company together. Right. Once I once I was here and I learned of what you guys did to develop everything, I honor that. Right. And it's not every day that you have a company that from the corporate leadership and the corporate um, development, there's integrity. There it's, it doesn't it doesn't always exist. <laughs> and sometimes you don't know that until you get into the culture of the company. And, and then you've already brought your team and then you've already built a new team. And then you realize, oh, crap, like Trisha said, like, mm -hmm. oh, sh what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Right. And you've got to find your way out of the muddy waters. And I do not feel like that with live good. I do not feel like I have to climb out of the muddy waters or I kind of have to sneak my way out of this. Right. I feel very, very good to be here. Um, and I just want people to understand that. Um, but I'm telling you, live good is probably going to be the best thing for you and your family beyond just today right? Beyond just today or the launch or the this or the that, all right? Um, so that's my live good plug. Thank you, Nader. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit today about um, marketing, which is what I like to do. <laughs> you guys know that. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a marketer by nature, right? I'm a network marketer second. I'm a marketer first. Uh, and the reason I'm a marketer first, and I've always been that way, even through college, um, is, is because I love the idea of bridging people um, to solutions, right? That's what a marketer does. A marketer's job is to understand the problems of a market. You know, Curry talks about this as well, right? A market. And you want to bridge them to a solution that they have, okay? That is what marketing truly is at the core. Sales and marketing are two different things. Sales is now actually uh, having the message that that causes a person to buy, but creating the message is marketing, right? It understands what I'm saying, right? Getting the message across is the marketing. And if it lands, if the message lands, I come from a school of thought where I was always taught, if the marketing is done right, the sale is easy, okay? So what's happening, I see a lot of people just in Live Good, but also just in our industry overall, our professional overall, is that everybody is trying to make a sale. Right. You're trying to make a sale. That is the goal because we are affiliates. I get it. We're affiliates. Um, some of us are just members. That's fine, too. Right. We're just using the products as customers. But a lot of us that are looking at this from a business opportunity, you want to make sales. Right. You want to rank advance. You want to have people on your team. You want leverage. You want all those things. But I want you to understand that you've got to dial in the message. 
right? The sale is going to be easy if you dial in the message. And sometimes that takes a little bit of work, okay? Now, one of the messages that, that Live Good has is, you know, get healthy, stay healthy, and do it in an affordable way. That is a core message that Live Good has because what does Live Good do? Live Good actually sells products. That's what Live Good does, right? But what do you do? You do, you do two things. You also go and grab other people to help sell products as well as you selling products. Live Good does not go out and get reps. You do. <laughs> so you have to understand that you have to acknowledge that your message may need to shift, not off target, not way off in, in the wilderness, but you may need to shift what your message is depending on what you're trying to sell. If you are trying to sell the business opportunity, then maybe, maybe get healthy, stay healthy and do it in an affordable way might not be the direct message for that. But if you are talking to a person uh, like a Ryan Goodkin, Right. If you were if you met Ryan or you met Lisa Goodkin out, if you met Ben out. Right. These are people that are like health conscious people. Right. They're like in the gym. They do these types of things. Not or you may be, too. I don't know. I don't I don't I'm not at the gym all the time. I'm health conscious, but you're probably not going to catch me at the gym that much. OK. Um, so the point that I'm making is if you ran into these people in their environment at the gym, you probably would do better going along the messaging of the products. Right. You probably would do better in that direction. But if you're out and about and you're at a networking event where people are business people and they're building businesses, you might want to have a message more aligned with how to start a business, how to have leverage, how to make money in the health and wellness industry. You might not want to lead with get healthy, stay healthy and do it in an affordable way because you might be talking to a person who is. I don't know, obese, they don't care about health, but they care about money. <laughs> and if that's what you're selling, then you have to be conscious of that. And so my chat, my charge to everybody on today is to get curious about the market of people that you currently have around you. Just get curious about that market of people. Uh, we always are looking for new people. I'm not saying don't look for new people, but what I'm saying is if you're on social media and you have a social media a sphere of influence of 2,000 people, of 1,000 people. If you combine your Instagram or your YouTube or whatever, uh, LinkedIn, and you've got 3,000 people, 5,000 people, you got 200 people. It doesn't The number is irrelevant. What I'm saying is if you're on social media, you do have a sphere of influence in one way or another. Get curious about that market. In other words, poll them. Guys, what successful companies do, and I'm imparting this because I want you guys to think like a business. What successful companies do in the marketing department is you find out what it is that the current market that you have around you, what interests them? What, what do they like to do? This is why you'll see certain companies do a focus group, right? They'll pay people to do a focus group or you might participate in a study. You guys have seen that before, right? Oh, we're doing a study. What is the study or a, a case study, right? Why do companies do these types of things? Why do the marketing departments initiate these types of things? Because you want to know what people think about the taste. You want to know what people think about the message. You want to know what people think about the colors. You want to know what people think about the, the not necessarily the compensation plan network marketing, but what they think about, you know, having a business, right? What's important to them? Curry brought up earlier, he realized not everybody is interested in traveling, right? To all these exotic locations. Okay, great. So if you're on social media and you care about traveling and all you're saying is travel anywhere you want, and then there's nobody in your audience who cares about traveling, I'm telling you, you're the message isn't landing. And because the message isn't landing, the sale is going to be hard. There's no amount of DMing that you're going to do to get that person to buy because the mm. message isn't landing. So get curious. Start to poll your audience. And when I say poll, I'm going to be done at the When I say poll, I mean, not every day and not, not you know, erratically, <laughs> you know, back to back to back to back to back, but maybe twice a week. Ask a question, literally just ask a question to the market, right? What's more important to you, uh, traveling or an extra $500 a month, right? I, I don't know what the question is. What I'm saying is you just have to be curious and you need to figure out if you look at your social media 
timeline. You see different things that people are speaking about or what interests them. Maybe realize, oh, wait, should I have a lot of people that are talking about they have eighth graders graduating from eighth grade lately, right? Then maybe you need to poll, hey, what's more important to you? Co saving for college education or um, getting into a good private high school? You, you guys get what I'm saying? You might need to ask these types of questions because if you can, I promise you, if you can just identify what it is the people want and then you find a way to give the people what they want, the people will buy because the people want what you're offering. If you keep trying to put a square peg in a round hole, I promise you going to another company and putting that same square peg in another hole, round hole, it's still not going to work. And it's definitely not going to work when you have higher products. Guys, there are people in LiveGood where our products are economical and the, and some some people are still having a hard time selling even economical products it's because it's not the price i want you guys to understand price is important for people who understand the comparison of what is out there and what they'd rather not do how we add value but to a person where your message isn't even landing you couldn't sell ice to an eskimo you couldn't sell uh ribs to a carnivore you couldn't do it because it's not about you couldn't give it away for free you, there's tons of free programs. You guys know it, right? And people won't sign up even for free. Why? Because it's not about the cost. It's about the message. So I want all of our um, affiliates here who want to um, build a team and get more people excited about what we're doing at Live Good to get curious about what is important to your audience and start working on crafting a message that lands because when the marketing is done right, the sale is easy. Back over to you, Nader. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for that. I got a couple of questions for you. That was perfect. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, I've been watching your stuff on Instagram. If anybody wants to learn about AI, you want to reach out to this lady. Let me tell you, she is, she's at the edge. She knows what's going on. Can I ask you something really quick, please? Sure. Uh, okay. Here is it. Let's say you reach out to me. Let's say you found me on social media and let's say I was on social media overpaying $80 for a CBD oil. I have no interest to make money, but my, my doctor told me I should take CBD oil, but I'm paying 80 bucks. How would you approach me if you found me on, let's say, a Facebook CBD group? What would be your approach? Okay, so now you're taking me out of my zone because that's yes. the product, right? You, got, you know, <laughs> I, I, I look for networkers, right? But okay, if I had to go the product route and, and I knew that you were paying this $80, uh, I will say this. I do have a young lady that I did reach out to because she was in a group and she was talking about mental health. She really was. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to change the example from CBD. No, no, I'm just trying to make it where I can relate to it, right? Yeah. So she was talking about brain and mental health. And she literally said on there, um, guys, I didn't really realize how important certain products could be for our mental health and this and that. I'm going to do more research in this area. I read her say... I'm going to do more research in this area. So I literally did, right? I, I, it's not my comfort zone, but I did reach out because I knew we had methylene blue, right? And I knew that we had um, like CBD and things like that that do help. And I reached out to her and I said, hey, I saw your comment in whatever the group was about doing more research. What is it that, that you found to be intriguing where you wanted to really look into it? Like, what was it that did it? And she said, well, I knew there were products out there that could help with like Alzheimer's and things like that. She's, and I think She's like her mother, somebody, a grandmother, somebody has suffered with this previously, right? And she was, had never really cared that much about digging into why, but now for some reason she's a little older and now she cared. And I said, well, listen, I said, have you done any research on products that actually help with the brain? Like, you know, like methylene and things like this. And she's like, no, I've never, I've never heard of that. I said, I'll tell you what, I said, I'll drop a little article for you. And I just, I didn't have an article, but I went and I Googled an article. <laughs> Okay, it's just like on the spot, right? Because again, I understand the message, right? I'm not trying to sell her methylene right now. What I'm trying to do is get her to understand that there's a gap, right? And if I can bridge the gap for her, then I can easily sell her what we have. So I said, here, I'm going to drop an article that talks about how amazing, you know, methylene is and how it helps the brain, this, 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 and this. I said, would that be okay? And she's like, sure. So I dropped the link of a random article that I found that didn't sell anything. Like I know to look for that, right? <laughs> it didn't sell anything in that article. And she goes, oh my goodness. She came back and she goes, oh my goodness. I didn't even know that this existed. She goes, but you know what? where do you get this? And, and it led right into it. And I said, well, listen, I said, I actually have a product um, that may be of, of uh, use to you, right? I said, I don't know if it is or isn't. I said, but check it out, right? I said, check it out. I said, I'll drop the link. I said, it's an it's a e-commerce shop. So you can look at different things 
if you want. But take a look at this. It's directly related to the brain health. And if you have any questions, just let me know. And I, I dropped the link. Now, I will be honest. I did not go back to see if she bought anything. I, I don't know. I don't look at it like that. But that's how I did it. To answer the approach, that's how I approached it. I love that. See, you came out of your comfort zone because there was a need. See, it was I a need, that. right? I saw it. I couldn't ignore that I saw it, right? Because I knew we had a solution. And as a marketer, I want to pro provide a solution. So I had to at least offer, <laughs> at least offer. And that, that's how I did And I love that. And you know what? But when we're looking across, we're noticing that people that get in on the product side first, even though they had no intention of building a business, and as, as we talk about it, I talk about it all the time, Liquid will be many people's first and last home-based business. I mean, how else could you go back to the old model when you've seen freedom, why would you pay 90 for something knowing that the same company's website bragging about paying 70, 80% of it out when now you found the much better one with 100% money back guarantee for 18. So I love the fact that you switched over, but you kept the main thing, the main thing. And that is people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. You reached out and you found something for that person. You made a connection. I call it a friend. I call it a friend. And you know what? That friend might not buy anything from you, but you made a friend. And someday that friend might come across, you know what? Maybe that friend will go to the doctor and a cardio a cardiologist might get some not so good news. We'll reach out to you again. You know what? You helped me. You reached out to me. No, I didn't buy the blue, but you were so kind. I saw on your website that you're involved with a company called Live Good that I see everywhere. Can you tell me a little bit about your red, please? Tracy Walker, that's Live Good, ladies and gentlemen. It's a love of sharing. And when you're proud about something, when you know you don't have 50 hands in the pockets of your single mother's friend, that blesses you. That's why we have 30% of the people that join the company immediately, almost immediately refer two to nine people. Not because there's a requirement. It's because they, they want to love on their friends. Thank you, Ms. Walker, for that. Thank you so much. All right. Now, the crosses, the power couple. My brother and my sister. What's up? How you doing? All right. Brit, I know we always start with Josh Cross because I love his initials, if you know what I'm talking about, JC, baby. But Brit, <laughs> I, want, I want to do a role play with you, if you don't mind, and then we'll bring Josh on. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to call you on the phone, and let's pretend that you used to be involved with a company that sold the magnesium for $80. Let's just pretend about six months ago, you reached out to me and you, you, you gave me the knowledge, you educated me about how magnesium is responsible for over 300 whatever. I don't know anything about products. I just take them and they work. You know, yeah. it's good stuff. So you reached out to me and you told me six months ago about an $80 uh, ultra magnesium. And you sent me a couple of videos. You educated me. And unfortunately, I couldn't buy it. So I'm going to call you right now, if you don't mind, and just pick up the phone. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Let's do it. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi, Britt. This is Nader. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Did I catch you at a good time? Oh, absolutely. How's your beautiful family? Oh, we are doing great. Awesome. Hey, quick question for you. I'm running out the door. Do you remember a few months ago, you were so kind and you told me about your ultra magnesium? Do you remember doing that for me? Yes, I remember that. Oh my gosh. First of all, I want to thank you for educating me. I had no idea how many things the magnesium does for your body. You know, it's gotten rid of my headaches and all that. But I have a question for you. I know you're very passionate about this, Britt, and I'm thankful again. It's that passion that made me study about, about the magnesium. You can say that about anything, by the way. However, I couldn't afford $80. You know, it's just economy. I mean, I have five kids. I just couldn't afford $80. So, you know, I actually just got started with a new company. They have over a million members already, and they have a similar product. I believe it's a little bit better for about a fifth of the price, fourth of the price, maybe a little bit less. Can you do me a favor? I'm going to send you a link, Britt. Can you please take a look at the short video that's in that link? And also, like Ms. Walker said, there is an e-commerce website. Can you please take a look at what we have? Here's a punchline. And maybe some of the clients that you shared your $80 magnesium with who couldn't afford it like I could, but could use it because it's so amazing. Maybe you can send them my way because ours is about nine bucks and it comes with a hundred percent money back guarantee, even if the bottle is empty. Do you mind if I send you a video, Britt? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Bye.
That's it. That's it. I'm not going to sit here and tell Brit or share with Brit how Lisa and Ryan Goodkin used to make amazing nutritional products that cost everybody $400 a person per month because it came from the old way of doing commerce. But no, we came along with Live Good and we brought the club membership, which is the future of commerce, and now we sell it to you for a little bit over cost at 18. I'm not saying that because that's not duplicatable. Because see, everybody can call their wit. Everybody can call Trisha Costa. Everybody can call Kerry Russell. Especially if you're going after people who shared other opportunities with you. Remember what Ms. Walker said? Target your audience. And say, hey, I remember you blessed me about your whatever. Pick anything. We have so many products. I remember you told me about $65 amino acid. Thank you for thinking of me. Thank you for educating me. I know you're making a lot of money in that company probably. And because of that, you probably came across a lot of people who couldn't afford you $80 amino. Do you mind if I send you a link of my company that I'm with? We have over a million people already. We have products, unbelievable products, with money back guarantee. Take a look at it. Let me know who you know. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the revolution of live good. People cannot unsee this. This is unseeable. Look at that. How can you unsee that? Can you? Other companies make it for 10, sell it for 90. We make it for 13, sell it for 18. You can't unsee that, but you have to be nice and kind and loving. We're not here to tell people their kid is ugly. <laughs> We're not here to say your network marketing company is Goliath, it's Jurassic. Uh -uh. Just like horses used to be the motor transportation and then cars came along and now look at some of the cars drive themselves. Can you believe that? You summon your car. It's a revolution. It's an evolution of commerce, not just network marketing. We're just starting with network marketing because nothing is easier, better, sweeter, more efficient than friends telling friends about something they found and love, knowing there is not 50 hands in their single mother's pocket. This is the revolution. Thank you so much for letting me, for putting up with me, Brett. Brother Josh, let's rock and roll. <laughs> you're awesome let me tell you Nader, i love your passion i actually one of our newer team members i was just messaging him i said man i love Nader's passion um because you you absolutely bring it so that's man today's call has been awesome and it's really just uh made me think about a lot of things that i want to uh, talk about i'm going to try to keep it sweet or short and sweet um but growing confidence so uh trisha talked about uh, be your posture and being confident in what you do. But one of the struggles is if you're like I was and Brittany was, I'm going to share a couple quick stories is you say, but I'm not confident enough to do that. I'm not confident enough to believe I'm not confident. And you look at people who seem like they're just confident and they're just always confident. And you think, well, they can do that, but I can't. So here's the reality. I'm a former foster kid from Southern Illinois. I, I went through every kind of abuse you can possibly imagine. I could go into horror stories. I was forced to eat my food off the floor sometimes and told I was a dog. Um, and, and I ultimately was taken out of my home and put into foster care at 11 years old. So I say that to really get to the heart message of, so you understand, do you think that I was the most confident person ever? I absolutely wasn't. I had to grow confidence over the years. And as I got into law enforcement, I had to develop confidence because I knew that if I wasn't confident, people was gonna walk all over me. And so as I became a police officer, I had to grow a confidence muscle. I didn't just have that confidence muscle, I swear. It didn't, I didn't, wasn't just born with it. Now let me uh, take that to my wife. My wife, when we first got it started in this industry, she still didn't have the a confidence muscle. She didn't at all. And not to throw her under the bus, but one time we were asked, we were about six or nine months into this industry, and we were asked to share our story in a room of about 30 people. It wasn't a whole lot of people. It was a meal. We were sitting there, and there was about 30 people, um, and, and we were asked to stand up and share our story. Um, and so I started, I said, okay, I stood up there and I start to share and Brittany stand next to me and Brittany, uh, proceeds to, it, I, I turn to her to talk as I, as we, as you guys have noticed that we do, I usually start, Brittany takes over, right? That's kind of how we work. And I turned to her to talk. She broke down, started crying, ran out of the room that we were in, ran into the bathroom, locked herself in the bathroom. I mean, it was a big deal. Women were like at the door trying to get to her. I mean, it was a big deal. I don't say that to knock my wife. I say that to say, 
she didn't have confidence at all when we started in this space. The only reason I did is because I forced myself in law enforcement to develop that confidence muscle. So with that being said, over time, now my wife has spoke on stages in front of thousands of people and trained and, and done some things that she has grown that confidence muscle over time. And so I say that to say, you have to find within you what is going to make you grow your confidence muscle? It's not going to start out like I'm speaking on stage in front of thousands of people, but it might start out like, you know what? I'm going to be bold enough to talk to somebody. I'm going to, it might start out little. So whenever you, whenever Trisha talks about belief, your instant thought may be like, yeah, that's easy for them, but it's easy for them to say because they're confident. But the reality is, I was, I, again, I'm a former foster kid from Southern Illinois who was abused in every way you can imagine. And, and, and I was, did not have confidence. I forced myself to develop a confidence muscle. And now I'm probably one of the most confident people that you'll ever meet. And because I've developed that confidence muscle. So then as you do, as you build, I want to talk about a 90 day run. Look, here's the deal. 90 to 180 days, right? Most people, most people, don't have a sprint in them forever in this space. This business is built in spurts. It just is. You're going to have, you're going to have to sprint and then you're going to have to find your consistent pace. It's, you got to get that plane off the runway and then you got to, you got to find that pace. Right. And so you have to, you have to decide, all right, am I going to, when Brittany and I got started, I heard uh, here in Live Good, I heard um, when we got started in the industry, I should say that for, so I'm talking to people who's just getting started. I wasn't doing anything for a little while. And then eventually my my mentor said, you need to rip off the bandaid. And I said, all right, I'm going to go. He said, put your nose to the ground and run for 90 days. And that's what I did. And I looked up and we started to have a little bit of a business. And over time it's, it's grown. And so um, then when we got started in Live Good, I said, all right, it's time to build. And so when I turned on the gas, I, I heard I heard Ben say, recruit a hundred people in your first year. That's yep. a great goal. He he talked about that. And I said, All right, well, I'll do twice that in half the time. So in right. six months, <laughs> in six months and two days, I recruited 200 people, personally recruited 200 people because I said, All right, I'm gonna turn on the gas and I'm gonna go. And so yours doesn't have to be that, okay? It doesn't have to be, but you have to say, I'm going to feed that pipeline. I'm going to turn on the gas. I'm going to get that plane off the runway. So the plane doesn't end, end up crashing at the end of the runway. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to say before mama takes over is, uh, if you can possibly be in Vegas, livegoodvegas.com. We are getting so excited about it. everything that's coming. Look, it's going to be a blast. It's going to be, this isn't going to be, this isn't going to be your conventional network marketing company. Rah, rah, we're going to hype you up so we can sell you some overpriced product or deal. You are going to get to rub shoulders as iron sharpens iron. So does one man sharpen another. You are going to get to rub shoulders, Proverbs 27, 17. You are going to get to rub shoulders with people that are going to help you to grow in in live good and 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 build that connection you've heard the saying before if you want to be a millionaire surround yourself with millionaires if you want to be successful and live good surround yourself with the successful people and live good and the successful people and live good are going to be in vegas on april 19th and april 20th so yeah. uh with that livegoodvegas.com be there i can't wait to see you guys mama what you got um, I was just going to say, um, as far as courage goes and all of that, um, you're going to gain that courage, that belief, right, um, that Trisha talked about, um, that posture, all that by being around people, like Josh said, in Vegas, like surrounding yourself with people, you're going to realize that even though we're speaking on this call, we are ordinary, regular people, right? Like Josh said, we you know, didn't have the confidence when we first started. I 100% did exactly what Josh said. Um, and I cried and all this stuff when we first got started, right? But the thing is, is a lot of people look at us and they want to compare their chapter one to our chapter 20. They don't realize what we've been through. And the only way they're going to actually realize and connect with us is to be around us, right? And to realize that we're no different, right? We have to push through it. I promise you when I get on the stage, it, when we're in Vegas, I will still have that uncomfortable 
uncomfortable feeling that, you know, that confidence, like, oh my gosh, can I do this? But I'm going to do it anyway, right? I've learned that I need to do it anyway, because if I don't do it, then there's never going to be a time that those that are watching are ever going to try to do it either, right? They're not ever going to stop step out of their comfort zone if they're not going to watch me do that, right? I have Nobody has to lead. And so, um, that's really what I was, what all I was going to say, um, the 90 day run, like Josh said, I mean, we went after it, um, to keep it super simple for those that are getting started. Cause some people do come to live good and they're just, you know, they've never done anything else. Right. Or they've never succeeded at anything else. Um, I wanted to say, think about it, um, as a, you know, as bronze, right. Take on that bronze mindset. Um, you know, it takes two people to hit bronze. Just do that over and over again. Don't overcomplicate yourself and don't look at the big mountain, right? Bronze every single week. Have that goal of recruiting two people. If you do that every week, if your goal is two people every single week, you'll hit 100 people right. in a year. 100 people, right? You can get to gold all by yourself. You don't need a team. You will develop a team. You will have people that want to run with you, but don't put that on other people. Put that on yourself. Make your goal your goals small, two people a week, and you will succeed here and live good just like the rest of us. Awesome. <laughs> back Thank to you, Ben. Or Nodder. <laughs> I'm used wow. to saying back to you, Ben. Back to you, Nodder. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Britt. That was, that was pure. I love that. And thank you for keep talking about Vegas. So ladies and gentlemen, for the international people that are on the Zoom, uh, yes, a, a Vegas event is going to be amazing. There's not going to be any upselling. There's not going to be all the things that you see in the older type of doing business. We're just going to be there to love on one another. I'll be there the first night. The next day, uh, we have a young, our youngest daughter is a professional athlete. So we have to travel with her. So I want to thank you, Britt. I want to thank you, Josh. Again, thank you all the panelists. Now, my phone because I get on about 300 calls a week and over 80 Zooms, goes on uh, Do Not Disturb. But I'm looking at Ryan, and I think Ryan is trying to tell me something. Before I turn it over to Ryan, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, our company is all about getting people healthy, having them stay healthy, and do it in an affordable way. That's our mission for our first three years. Yes, just like Amazon started with books, and now Amazon has almost everything under God's blue sky. We're starting with the most advanced nutritional products on earth at unbelievable prices. And that's how we're disrupting the world of commerce. But we will have everything because ladies and gentlemen, as I shared with you, the first wave that brought us the fundamental 1 million people, the pioneers, the warriors, that 1 million people is just the tip of the iceberg because the phase two is, as I shared earlier, when people are recognizing that the sick care model is over. You know, I mean, we have people speaking last night that some of them are pharmacists and they, some of them are nurses talking about how hospitals are all about giving pills and pills and pills. What you're building right now, ladies and gentlemen, the loving way, the kind way, sharing our products and sharing our model in, 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 in just a pure way. You're just building your army for the next revolution. You got, we got to have two to three million new people in 2024 to get us ready for getting rid of the sick care model because that's what we're getting ready. So I want to thank all the speakers now. As you know, Ben went out of the, Ben, <laughs> that man just loves blessing you guys. And, and when he gets into, when we look at statistics and we see that the people that are on the products and actually taking advantage of the most valuable membership in the world called Live Good and getting these products at a little bit over our cost, we're noticing not only they're climbing ranks, but their teams are very healthy. What does that mean? A healthy team is a team that's product driven. A healthy team is a team that, let's say, Britt and Josh want to start an order and live good. They start me up. I got in. I'm like, hey, Britt, hey, Josh, I just started with this. I'm used to joining companies like Trisha Costa Say, cost $3,000 to join, another $150 a month in forced auto ship. Tell me what to do here. Let's say they say, hey, Nader, you want to get started with us? It's a one time 40. You pay the $49 to get started. You want to get your hands on the international wellness pack that has about a $370 to $400 value anywhere else in the world. I'm not just attacking network marketing. I just started my home-based business totally global in over 150 countries for less than $140. That's the simplicity of Live Good, And that gives you over $370 worth of products. Those are the teams that are exploding. Those are the teams that are flourishing because people are getting our products. And that's why, like Curry Russell shared with you, just like things weren't good enough, Ben went ahead. I mean, we've been looking at market. We've been running statistics. I mean, why do you think in our international wellness bag, we have the items that we have? 
because for the first year we looked at what people in international markets are buying, even though we don't have a purchase requirement and keep buying. That means those products were working for them. All of our products work. So we took those products and created the International Wellness Pack. We're a very, very field-driven company because we come from the field. That being said, for the first year or so, we did some testing. We're always doing testing. You don't want to know what Ben is up to now. We will have 3 million new people in 2024, most likely the first six months of 2024. What we did to even equip you more, because we look at numbers, we see, oh my gosh, everybody that's placing a product order, is their team is duplicating and duplicating and they're getting products and they're getting healthy. When people, like, like Ms. Walker said, if you're not using Costco, or I don't know, what was it, was it, was it, was it, was it Tracy or was it Trisha, one of those ladies, you're gonna cancel the membership. Here, I'm watching teams. So knowing that the products are our best sharer, Knowing that people, people that are on our products become the best marketers, that's why we went out of our way. Ben actually did some testing. We realized that about 10% of the product cost, it would cost us to go out there and market it to the masses if we were going to do it as a company. So let's say if this product, we were going to market it out there, it would cost about $1.80 to get it out there. So what did Ben do? He says, you know what? I'm going to take that 10%. I'm going to give it back to my family. Live good members. That's Ben. Because you know what? Yeah, we'll do other marketing too, but let's take the 10% customer acquisition bonus and put it back into the compensation plan for people's first order. Do you know how huge that is, ladies and gentlemen? That's going to incentivize you even more to go out there and share the products, even though you did it before without having a financial incentive. See, that's the beauty of LiveGood because we were going to spend about 10% overall to market the products elsewhere and then brought it to the field. And that goes into the comp plan the same way the $40 goes and paid out weekly into the compensation plan. That has shown what it's doing to product because when people are buying products, they start sharing more because they're like, oh my gosh, these reds, they go to the cardiology cardiologist two months after these reds and when a doctor tells them what their blood work looks like, they can't stop them th themselves from sharing. So that's, that's an addition. The 10% that Ben is thrown into the comp plan, that's a blessing. So what I'm going to share with you today, ladies and gentlemen, is going to just be an extra icing on the cake. Okay, and I printed this because I wanted to share with you. And I really want to share this with you when Ben was here. I wanted to Ben share it, but he's doing some big things for you all. Just get ready. The next 180 days is going to be all that massive action. Tell everybody about Lipco. Well, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for this. Because we know that our products are the best marketing force that we have. Yes, the video is great. Yes, the websites are awesome. Yes, for $9.95 a month, you get on corporate Zooms, you have fun, $2.50 a week. We'll give you amazing discounts on these life-changing products. Yes, yes, yes. But we know, we recognize what these products do for people because our goal is to get these products in people's bodies. We really do because we don't want people to pay $90 anymore. Definitely don't want to pay $100 anymore. And that's the revolution of LiveGood. So what is Ben doing, ladies and gentlemen? For the rest of the month of February, we're bringing back the $5 off coupon. So every, see, is that, is that Ben's name on it. I printed it for you like that. So every anybody that goes to livegood.com forward slash your username is going to get a $5 discount on their order. Ladies and gentlemen, this is huge. This is going to help you to go reach out to everyone that you've shown LiveGood to before and say, hey, guys, we just passed 1 million, 1.1 million people. We're getting ready to bring an additional 3 to 5 million people into our company in 2024. Our owners just brought out a huge incentive. Send them your livegood.com forward slash your username, forward slash your username. And everybody that would go to that website will get a $5 discount for their first order. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to help you to get this word out. Like Josh said. In this industry, there are a lot of people who go from companies to companies for whatever reason. When people hear from you that they see that you still will live good, just like Costco has 100 million members, that you're still doing this, but now you're even more passionate about it. It's like this. You know, some people get married. Oh, well, I got married. Extremely excited. Invited the world, even though we were broke. Invited everybody to our wedding. But you know what? I'm not going to say it loud because you'll probably hear it. I'm planning on doing it like a, like a, like a really dedication on marriage. That's what this is. That's what this is. Reach out to everyone oh, upside down. That's, uh, that, that, maybe you should do magnesium upside down. 
reach out to everyone that you know that you've shown live good to before and say, hey, we just exploded. We're getting ready to bring in 4 million people in 2024. Our company owners just announced a brand new promotion. Take a look at my website. Ladies and gentlemen, getting healthy and staying healthy and saving money is not a fad. It's not a fad. Okay, there are a lot of other companies out there. God bless them. We're only starting with the most advanced nutritional products on earth. I want to thank all of you. Remember, it's Firestarter Friday, meaning you want to go out there today. Open up your address book, your Hanukkah list, your Christmas list, your whatever list you got, PTA, whatever you got, and reach out to all your contacts. Send them your livegood.com forward slash your username and let them know we're giving them a $5 discount. People want to hear from you, ladies and gentlemen, because the days of overpaying for nutritional products. So maybe some people on top of the compound will get paid on it is over. Ryan, I'm going to send it back to you to close, my brother. I appreciate you. Sounds like you want to say something. Yeah, no, I just, just want to follow up on that announcement to make sure people know you still get your customer acquisition bonus, though, too. So the $5 off is a win-win. Customer wins, you win. It's awesome. That's good. So make sure you guys keep that in mind as well. Thank you, guys. Thank you to our speakers. Great call today. I learned a lot, and I really appreciate that, Britt, that um, confidence muscle. That is a very true thing. That It's just like any other muscle, I presume, right, where you – Sometimes it can be helpful to remind yourself. You just pinch yourself and say, that's right. Remember, we're working on my confidence muscle here. So thank you for that perspective. Nader, back to you, man. We'll see uh, We'll see everybody. On, oh, not on Monday. No Monday Zoom. Uh, so we'll resume back on next Thursday. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Ryan. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, all the speakers. Again, ladies and gentlemen, remember, people don't go to Costco to make money. People go to Costco to save money. Everybody wants to save money. And when they get on these products, especially when we're giving away the farm, they're going to get hooked. Thank you all. Love you all. Go get pre-enrollees today.